What's up guys, Callahan Garage here. I am across the street from the house over at the Corvette. I was going to start this up and uh, drive it across, put it on the lift so we can start doing some work on it. We've got a whole new brake system going on, on it. We've, it's a, it has no brakes, uh, so we can take it for a test ride and stuff like that. You ever feel like you're running behind schedule and then you walk into the other room and look at all the packages that came in today and then you know you're really behind schedule this car is never getting done however the carburetor was pouring fuel not leaking fuel pouring fuel so we planned on doing an intake change on this anyways and putting on a new carb and stuff like that. So that all came in. So I'm just gonna do that over here real quick. Um, I probably won't film too much of it, kind of like a before or after, because honestly, it's not that difficult, but we are gonna take the intake off, um, pull the distributor out, go ahead and just swap these out real quick, just so we can get it running. I just didn't want the car to burn up on going across the street. It literally had that much gas pouring out of it. And I tried hammering, doing every little trick you can. It's just the carburetor is just completely shut. But we've got to make it all the way across the street and back behind to the shop. So we definitely got to get it running a little bit. And uh, there's that new project sitting right on there. We send, it, send the rims out to get some tires so we can start working on that thing here pretty soon. Maybe next week we'll do a Will It Get Run video. But for now, we're just going to pull this intake off, go ahead and uh, put a new carburetor on, swap everything out. And then uh, we'll update you here in a few minutes. All right. Remember when I was telling y'all, like, you know, they're having trouble getting this car started, getting it running, you know, all that stuff we did in the first video. I mean, with infinite timing, I guess that could be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> I don't even think there's a bolt there. Legitimately. I haven't looked because I haven't got to that far, but I noticed it moving and there's a bolt there. It's just, the, the clip is not lined up right. So yeah, this is not, that's not going to work. That, no, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe if it moved a little bit so you can adjust timing, but yeah, you got to make sure the clip is hooked on the bottom of the distributor. I, I mean, this is crazy. You know, there's a lot about this car that, that makes me wonder... Um, as you guys know, I did work on this car 20 years ago and it was not in this state. I mean, the car ran and drove, I drove it around, my brother drove it and my dad drove it. I mean, this was, I, this car was awesome. Uh, but since then, I, I mean, I guess you could advance the timing with vibration, retract when you hit the brakes, you know, little G forces back and forth. Uh, I mean, I'm all for it ear timing, but that's just, that's, that's terrible. So, yeah. Good times. All right, let me get all this pulled off. I just, I had to stop and show you that. I have not loosened anything. Oops, it still won't come out. So we'll definitely have to like take the bolt out because the clip's blocking something. It's just not controlling the timing. I think that was the problem. Broken distributor clamp down. Literally straight up broken. <clears throat> I don't even know how that happens. I'm not even sure. But, yep, it's broken. Alright, so here's my current limo, which I know all of you guys have had before. All the bolts are out, but this one. Problem is, is it's been rusting there for so long, and we just can't get anything on it. So now we're gonna try to get a 14, and I'll just put the camera down so we can get to where you guys can see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Probably not. But who knows? All right, I broke it loose. I did have to drill that bolt out. 
but we'll take it out of the heads when we pull it off. So let me get this off and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, so it is off. Actually, it does not look as gummed up as I thought it was going to look in there. Um, that's the bolt we'll have to get out. Uh, I'll get it out, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But doesn't look all gummied up like I thought it was going to. Um, we'll get this all cleaned up, bring you back in, and we'll take a look. So that's that's the problem bolt. I mean, it's a problem bolt for most, you know, a lot of people have a problem with that bolt. But this has actually never been off. It's clear that this is the original intake gaskets. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be the original uh, valve cover gaskets. But let's see if we get a vice script on it. Uh, we'll see if we can get it to come out. All right, let's see how lucky we can get. Actually, I think we're going to need a smaller vice script because. Actually, guys, look at this. That is just lucky. I, I, I literally didn't even tighten the vice grips or actually turn on it. it. When I tried to tighten it, it literally loosened right up. Look at that thing. So yeah, we had to basically drill it out to get it on there. Uh, it's a good sign. Hopefully that means today's gonna go pretty easy. We all know that that's not usually how it works. This one will probably get hung up in the shop with all the rest of my pain in the ass bolts. All right, so kind of here's where we're at. This car has so many vacuums on it, you gotta hook up. Um, got the new intake in. Got the new car we're getting ready to go on. Let's see if we can reuse this bracket uh, for the throttle just because I don't have another one. Um, actually, looks like it'll fit. Um, let me get all that on there and I'll catch back up the ice in a few minutes. All right. 10 minutes carburetor intake. I have some other dress up stuff we're going to put on this and we're going to clean this car probably a lot more. But let's see if we can now get it started so we're back to where we were a week ago. Well, a couple weeks ago.
That's why we had to put new headers on it. Did that so much uh, emission control from 75? I mean, it's literally like it's, it's all emission control. Uh, but we'll get it all cleaned up, and then we'll kind of go from there, and uh, we'll get it over the shop. Now it'll actually probably drive. So. Alright guys, well we got the we got the car finally back over to the shop, so we're gonna do the brakes and a bunch of other stuff. Might be entertaining, it might not. Is it gonna be entertaining? I think so. Not really. I mean, how often do we do brakes? Well I hope it's not like the purple car. I'm sure it's exactly like the purple car. It's better not. Dude. It should be better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely great. This is you know how it works. Probably got plans to go out with your girlfriend, and he's always on time for that shit, right? No. Completely <laughs> <laughs> forgot that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we'll uh, we'll catch back with you guys real quick. Let's get it up. We'll do some stuff with it, and then I will. Just, well, it's hot. It's hot. Really hot. It's hot. It's a holiday weekend. Let's see how much we get done. Bye. So clearly, this thing's had some breaks at some point. Wow. Cause, I mean. I got a lot of meat left on them, but I have a feeling once we pull this off, they're going to have, uh, they're going to fall apart. But, I want to buy brand new ones for all four corners. So, let's put them on. Alright, so we put the new brakes on here. My son did this side, you can, you can see the issue. Uh, yeah. He, uh, it's a little twisted. So we're gonna have to replace that line. Um, something I do when I'm changing brakes is one, I you know, hit it with penetrating oil. So I don't mind the water, it's torrential rain. Uh, just having that kind of day in the shop. But I have a pair of vice grips that I put on there. I don't even bother with the other, I don't even bother with putting in a, an open end wrench or even a half box. Just put the vice grips on there. Get it to turn, and you can see, works perfectly. And don't be in such a hurry, Tyler. Sorry, I had to kick on myself a little bit. But yeah, so that line's good. All right, guys, so you see the fluid right there? That, is that was actually leaking out of the back of the master cylinder. It's kind of like that telltale sign of you've got a, a seal on the back of the master cylinder leaking. Now we do have another mass cylinder, so that's not really an issue, but I figured I'd show you this. So, you can see it's been leaking out of there a while. Um, so hopefully we'll get this all fixed up, put in the new master cylinder, and finish the brakes. Now, I'm sure some of y'all wondering why we're doing new rotors and calipers. Um, we probably could have made these work, but at the end of the day, honestly, um, the car came with a bunch of parts, so we're trying to put all these new parts on there because kind of stupid, just let them sit. So, all right, we'll update you guys back here in a few minutes. All right, all done. New brakes are on. Just got uh, two more to go. Got to do the backs, and I think that'll be it for this video. All right, guys, so the fronts are done. Now we're on the back. And look, more rivets. This is just awesome. And this one I can't really take off and put on the press, on the drill press, I have to do this by hand. So, yeah, it's great. Love this, like, awesome. All right, so 7 16ths, about two. So let's see how this works out. No time at all.
play the lotto. Because I just got lucky. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see if I'll focus on it. See how much that's swallowed, and there's pretty much no hole. So besides having the leaky brake booster, I'm sorry, the leaky master cylinder, and basically no hole because the lines are so swollen, that is probably why we have no brakes. So hopefully once we change all this out um, and put in the new master, we should have good, pretty good brakes. All done. With this side, so I got one more side to go. Uh, when they ordered this kit, they ordered those lines new also. Highly recommend it. Just, just order the new lines. Just get, if you're gonna replace them, do the whole thing. Don't waste any time. Uh, it literally took like 15 minutes. All right, let's get to the other side. All right, so this side is done. Like I said, it's a good idea to get all the replacement hoses because it makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, I was hoping to uh, get these rims on today. Um, maybe we'll get the system bled so you guys can see it. Um, those are going to be the, those are the new rims. Um, I know they look funny right now because the car is jacked up. But unfortunately, with every build, you run into a stumbling block. Check this out. So let me see if I can... Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. We have a new spring, but uh, yeah, it's completely cracked, broken. So we're gonna have to order that part, replace that, because honestly, it's not really that safe to drive. I mean, it's safe-ish, but it's nothing really holding that in. Um, so again, sorry, we're not gonna get a, a drive today. Um, hopefully next week we're gonna have to order that part you know if you guys like watching me tool around with this stuff and you enjoy the kind of stupid things that I do you know let me know in the comments um, if there's something we can do different something you like a little better uh, please let me know hopefully we're gonna be able to do some burnouts in this car pretty soon and actually do you know enjoy it um, but it seems like everything I do we open up another can of worms so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Callahan Garage.